Hey guys, my name is Wen, and today I'll be going over a samurai guide for the new Final Fantasy expansion Stormblood. In this guide, we'll be first talking about where to pick up the quest for the samurai job, as well as breaking down each rotation and their benefits so you can better understand how to play the new class. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do in order to unlock the samurai is to have the prerequisites. They are level 50 and the completion of the main story quest up through the Praetorium. Once that is done, you'll need to go to Oda. Once there, at the main etherite, walk up the stairs to an NPC that will start you on the quest. The quest will then take you near the Colosseum where you will begin a new journey as a samurai. One of the first things you'll notice when you learn the new class is the three grey handguard icons near the top right of your screen. This is your Sen gauge, and depending on how many Sen you have, it will do different effects when activated with your Iajutsu ability. There are three different rotations that will grant you one of three of your Sen gauge. The three Sens of a Samurai are Getsu, Ka, and Setsu, and depending on how many Sen you have, it will change the effect of your ability Iajutsu. Keep in mind, when stacking your Sen for a different ability, you have to go through each rotation in order to get all three different Sens for your gauge. You can't do two of the same rotation and stack them that way for a harder hitting ability or different effects. Let's go over what your Iajutsu will change into depending on how many Sen you have in your gauge. Having one Sen will change your Iajutsu to Higanbana, a strong bleed that will last for one minute. Having 2 Sen active, it will change your Iajutsu ability to Tenka Goken, which is a strong frontal cone ability. Having 3 Sen active will change your Iajutsu to Midari Setsugeka, which is an extremely strong single target attack. Remember, no matter what rotation you do first, your Iajutsu will change the same way depending on how many Sen you have in your gauge. Now let's go over and break down each rotation so you can understand how to get each Sen for your Sen Gauge and the benefits of each rotation. There are three main rotations for the Samurai that you'll need to be switching between depending on if you need to keep up a buff or keep up a debuff. However, no matter which rotation you start with, Hakaze will always be your opening ability to start a rotation. The first rotation is going to use the following abilities. Hakuze, Jinpu, then Gekko, and that will grant you Getsu in your Sen Gauge. The benefit of this rotation is your Jinpu, which will grant you a buff for 10% increased damage, so is it very important to keep this up. The second rotation is going to be Hakuze, Shifu, then Kasha, which will grant you Ka in your Sen Gauge. The benefit of this rotation is the ability Shifu, which reduces weapon skill cast time and recast time as well as reduces auto attack delay by 10%. The third rotation is going to use the abilities Hakaze and Yukikaze, which will grant you Setsu in your Sen Gauge. The benefit of this rotation is Yukikaze, which will reduce your target slashing resistance by 10%. A main rotation is going to go as followed. First, you will do your Hakaze, Jinpu, then Gekko combo, then use your Higanbana for the bleed. Next, you will be using your Hakaze, Shifu, and Kasha combo, however, do not use your Iajutsu yet because you only have one Sen. After that, you will be doing your third rotation with your Hakaze and Yukikaze. Once that is done, you should have two Sens in your gauge, so go back to your first rotation, which is your Hakize, Jinpu, then Gekko, and then once that is done, you can use Imidari Setsu Gekka, which will cost three Sen for a very strong attack. After that, all you need to do is keep your buff and debuffs up on your target with your three rotations. Let's next go over an insanely strong AoE rotation. However, keep in mind that this is going to burn through your TP extremely fast. The very first thing you'll need to do is get the buffs from your Jinpu and Shifu. 
So your rotation is going to be starting off by using your Hakaze, then Jinpu, then using your Hakaze again, then Shifu. Once you get those buffs, you'll be first using the ability Fuga, followed by Oka, which will give you the Sen, Ka. After that, use Fuga again, followed by Mangetsu, which will grant the Sen, Getsu. Once that is done, you should have two Sen in your gauge, so your Ijitsu will be turning into Tenka Goten for a Frontal Cone ability. This is a high damage AoE rotation, however, again, keep in mind that this will burn through your TP incredibly fast. Last thing I'll be going over is a quick burst combo that you can do every 80 seconds with Mikio Shisui. First, you want to use your Mikio Shisui, followed by Gekko, Kasha, then Yuki Kaze. Then you can activate Midari Setsu Gekka for a quick strong attack. You should only do this after you have your buffs and bleeds from your regular rotation first for extra potency. Well, that's going to pretty much conclude this guide on the new samurai class released in Stormblood. If you guys have any questions or just want to drop a piece of your mind down in the comment section below, feel free to do so and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.